Hey tubers, this is Twitch and Heal Earthship. That's my wife. We're adobing at the moment. So this is the update on the tire wall. The tire wall, the rear tire wall is now done. Um, as you can see, we're doing the adobe. Earth, earth tubes are in. Um, we put a capping beam on top of the tire wall just to give us a flat area before we put our bond beam on. So this is it. We started to put our bottles in the wall. Hopefully, pick up the sunset in on a summer's sunset. There's a sun will set right over there. Now in Durian Bay, we've got a, a almost constant southwesterly breeze or wind. So between uh, myself and Martin Frenet, and well, myself and China, Martin Frenet. We've planned on putting our earth tubes here so they get ram air and they're starting to get it already which we're pretty uh, pretty chuffed with. So this is a um, this is a global design earth chip. It's based on um, Michael Reynolds. I nearly forgot your name mate. Michael Reynolds uh, global design but we had to get a uh, an architect over here in Australia to get the drawings and and uh, get it to how we want our house. So we put a capping beam on top of the wall. This capping beam's here just to accommodate the bond beam. We wanted a nice uh, flat surface to put the bond beam on and also meant that we can get an extra bit of apron down the side to deflect water. We've got another layer of dirt to go on top of this once the bond beam's on and then geofabric and then rocks. And we've got our water pipe in, we're going to have bore water and fresh water and our ra rainwater tank will be over there. So we're coming up to our bond beam now. The bond beam um, formwork we've used the uh, um, freezer room panels it's actually the, the leftovers of the, from the freezer room panels that we used in the uh, insulation in the berm and they actually work really well as um, form work um, as you can see we can just pull the uh, pull the stabilizers off and move it along so this is our fourth uh, fourth pour on our uh, bond beam now the first pour, it came out terribly and um, I had to break most of it away actually because it came out like an aero bar. So, save buying a, a um, concrete vibe, um, we've temporarily uh, made this palm sander into a, in a, into a cement vibe and it works really well so pretty happy with that. Here's our bond beam, this is the uh, apron that I was talking about. Now we've got plastic which runs down the the whole back of the wall as uh, damp proofing or tanking uh, but this will this will be a uh, just an apron just to um, deflect any water off the walls into the berm uh, we've got French drain right the way around the whole uh, wall and there it is so the packing the tires um, with that Tristan's foot method was awesome. Um, it's definitely a one person job. Uh, my wife and I um, both packed the tires and we both agreed that two people on the job um, slows things down almost. Because um, you'll have a backhoe driver waiting for the next tire. So uh, the vast majority of these were packed um, by either myself or my wife um, on our own. And the average we got was about 30 a day and they were the the uh, big four-wheel drive tires so they weren't they weren't the little tires on top on top we um can't remember how many we got but it was around 30 a day i would say if anyone asked now the tires uh, we thought we were going to be really easy to get turns out they are easy to get but to try and get all the um, same sizes um, for the different layers uh, that turned out to be quite hard and although people want to get rid of tires generally 
the car shops don't have any too many of a particular type of tire on that day so we found a um, disposal company who disposed of tires in Perth and um, they they smash the tires up into little cubes and send it aboard somewhere to fire kilns to um, bake cement so it does get reused probably not in the best manner uh, cement mix is a must makes it really easy on the front of the backhoe now our um, adobe um, consists of 10 shovels of sand one can of bentonite that's clay that you can get at the uh, garden centre and five handfuls of um, straw and the straw came cut up so it's pretty good enough to cut that up and a bucket of water and that's it and adobe's actually it's the first time we've worked with adobe and it's awesome to work with we're, we're actually really enjoying working with adobe and it goes on rock hard this stuff's been out in the um, summer sun and it hasn't cracked so we're, we're really happy with that We've got our chicken mesh will come down to put our cement render on it which we've got to get a move on and do because it's coming into the um, wet season earth tubes as I said are already starting to put out cool air so we're happy with that instead of using cans in the walls because um, actually cans over here are recycled uh, we got a heap of uh, patio bricks given to us a couple of pallet fulls actually and they weren't really any good for patios anymore but they were good for filling these gaps in so they filled the gaps in awesome and the ones that are on show are going to be where the, our power points are going to be screwed to we've got one more wall as you know if you know anything about earth chips which you probably do um, to go in here but we're not going to do that wall until our renders on uh, our renders are biggest priority um, and that's and that's how we're traveling it's an awesome project we're loving it um, and our marriage is surviving which is good it's probably stronger now than it ever has been. <laughs> I think it has to be to do this. Isn't it, babe? What's that? Strong marriage. It needs a strong marriage mm. to do this. Yeah, Sunset. Anyway, this is Twitch and Hill, Durian Bay. Good luck. <laughs>